Oh, hi. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty excited about this um, technique that I'm using to uh, make this, these um, skirts, which can be used as body wraps or legs or uh, trailer skirts for spinner baits. You know, it can be used in flag tying or it can be used in, you know, just regular old bait making. Uh, they are silicone. It's a two-part silicone. There's a part A and there's a part B. And you mix the two together one-to-one. -one, and you can add in these. These are mica powders. And um, you just it doesn't take very much. I mean, the head of a, a toothpick um, mixed in with uh, like a, a half a gram will, um, will give it just about that color right there but it'll be a, it'll be in a transparent uh, color so that that way you can um, when you tie your grubs or whatever it is you're using as the body wrap for example this this one here so as you as you can see it can be used as body wraps for fly tying and it can also be used in um, uh, making skirts for spinner baits and that sort of thing uh, so the the um, the mica powders, oops, the mica powders color it, and then you can accent it with uh, these little uh, sprinkles. You got micro sprinkles, and you can get this. This is like micro, and then you got you know small and medium and and heavy sprinkles. I don't know that I would go to a medium or heavy, but from this size here, I might go to the next size up to give it a little bit more pronounced speckle in the. Um, in the material that's being made. Now, these are two that I made here, which made this skirt. It is silicone, so you gotta know that if you are using it to tie, like, you know, grubs, like this thing right here, uh, you cannot put, or you can, uh, but it doesn't work very well to put like a UV resin or a two-part resin over the body to try and help you know, prolong the life of it. Um, I mean, this stuff's cheap enough to put it together where uh, I'm not too concerned if a fish is going to eat it up and chew it up. I, I think it's going to take quite a bit more than what m some people might think to uh, tear these up. But um, I, right now, I'm just letting you know the materials I use, which is the um, two-part uh, silicone rubber, uh, the mica powder, the sprinkles, and then I have these sheets. These are document protector sheets. I cut them up into um, four by five and a half sheets. And what will happen is uh, when I pour the material on this sheet, uh, this one's a different size than four and a half, and I actually cut the edges off of this one, but I found out that I, I should have known because I, I've worked for a number of sign companies over the years. I actually had my own sign company for a while uh, where we domed stickers. I mean, a lot of people think that these domed eyes are something new. It's something we were doing back in the 70s um, with printed vinyl for stickers that you would see on the computer. There's a little one-inch square um, identification logo stickers. Uh, been doing it for been doing this for a very long time so what I'm getting at is I knew that liquids uh, were self leveling on on materials and dome up and that's essentially what this is doing here it's it's doming up but it's doming up on a square and it gives what happens is <clears throat> it takes a while for this to set up about about 45 minutes for it to set up and probably I would give it at least six hours to cure overnight would probably be better um, but it domes up and when it hardens you've got a really nice uh, protected sheet in fact when you do your first cut I would do it very lightly and then and then go back over it again a little heavier so that the first cut goes through the silicone rubber and then the second cut goes through um, the uh, document protector sheet. Anyway, um, I'm, I am working on a more detailed how-to video, how much you use to mix, and, and I'm not talking about the mixture. Obviously, the rubber is one-to-one, -one, but um, 
it's supposed to have a 24 minute cure rate um, but when you start adding when you start putting additives in it to get your colors um, it it affects the the cure time uh, and I'll talk about that in a video as I show you step by step how I go about pouring mixing and accenting uh, this silicone rubber so that you can make your own skirts, bodies, legs, wh whatever you want to do with it. Um, until I get that video, uh, think about subscribing because you won't want to miss it. If this interests you here, you'll definitely want to see how I put this stuff together. This is Mike. Until the next video, we will catch you later.